It's no secret that as we approach final season, the stress and anxiety on campus reaches an all-time high. A new study conducted by the University of Texas at Austin determined that about 20 to 22 percent of college students on campus have had some significant issues with depression or anxiety. We speak to Crystal Rivera, a psychology major and media communication arts minor, to hear more about how she's been battling stress and anxiety this semester. My college experience this semester definitely a lot harder than most, um, specifically because of my math class. It wasn't, it wasn't that easy. And it's not just any math class, it's a statistics class. Crystal has admitted to almost having a panic attack because of having to juggle this math class along with her other classes. I was on the train and I was thinking so hard about everything that I had to do, all of these projects that I had coming up, and I just remember standing there and um, it just started to get a little black. And then I like started breathing really fast and um, I, I almost felt numb in a way. And I remember just repeating to myself, like, just breathe, just breathe, just breathe. You know, you're stressing yourself out, you're stressing yourself out, don't think about it. So um, after that was over, um, because I kind of stumbled off the train too. Like I didn't even get off. I didn't even wait until I got um, to where I was going. However, if there was one thing Crystal learned this semester to do whenever she feels the pressure, it's to calm down and to not stress out. So one thing I've realized is that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do whenever I feel like that again. And it's not the end of the world. I'm just going to, you know, take it easy and um, just tell myself not to stress out so much. We caught up with Audrey Gonzalez, a student at City College who turned her life around after trying to commit suicide on campus last year. Since then, she's written about mental illness on campus in the campus paper and was one of the people invited to create and pitch a mental illness awareness campaign for students in CUNY at the Healthy CUNY Initiative campaign event. We asked her about what CUNY could be doing to improve resources for students battling these mental illnesses, and here's what she had to say. Well, for starters, I definitely think that CUNY should try and get more funding for mental health. Um, I understand that there is a lot of funding towards like education, supplies, technology, and stuff like that. And I also think that if CUNY tuition is going to be increasing for us throughout the next few semesters, then we should be able to have more resources on campus for us because mental health is extremely important and it's a part of our daily lives and it affects our academic careers. So if we don't have the resources available, then there really isn't any possible way for us as students to overcome our issues um, daily that we deal with and um, you know succeed academically. So I think funding is really important. When asked about what her recommendations were for students battling mental illness, she said, My recommendations would be to speak to someone that you can confide in. Um, if you can't confide in anyone, I'm pretty sure that there's someone who will definitely listen. Um, see if there are any family members you can talk to, if you have a partner, talk to them. If not, then definitely seek a therapist. Um, I know that that's been my, my outlet lately since I got out of the hospital. And it's been working tremendously well for me, and um, it's helped me realize how to how to um, how to control my emotions and how to deal with them, but also how to understand them. So I think that um, you know a lot of people who suffer don't really know how to understand or go about their daily lives dealing with these you know these issues. For more information about resources to help students facing anxiety and depression on campus, visit speakresponsibly.org.